We have more 70 degree weather in the forecast. Really? Now, uh, maybe Sunday. We're close Sunday, but like Monday and Tuesday, we may be up 70 or higher. So. Not complaining. Well, winter was short. I mean, yesterday was fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's it. We're ready, we're ready for the derby, huh? Do that. Yeah, all right. Take a break here. We will have the complete uh, travel forecast for the upcoming weekend coming up after this break. <laughs> You're watching Wave 3 News at 6 with Don Schroeder, Jackie Hayes, meteorologist John Belsky. And sports with Bob Dominey. Wave 3 News, working in the spirit of wave country. I'll tell you what, we got some great news for the weekend. Yesterday we said it would be colder on Saturday and warmer on Sunday. Uh, well, the colder air is only going to stick around for a few hours. That will be tonight and tomorrow morning, and our new warm-up should be arriving tomorrow afternoon. So another one of these rare late November weekends where temperatures uh, continue on the unseasonably mild side. First, let's, uh, before we get into the forecast, first let's talk about earthquakes tonight. You hear about the Richter scale. For each increase in one number on the Richter scale, the earthquake intensity increases by 10 times. So if you have an earthquake of 6, that is 10 times stronger than a 5. An earthquake of 7 is 100 times stronger than a 5. And we have the earthquake safety brochure. If you haven't had a chance to get one yet, head on out to any Taylor drugstore, pick one up. They're free. Or send a self-addressed stamped envelope to Wave 3 News. Checking the weather numbers out this evening, we have 53 degrees right now, partly cloudy skies. Winds are out of the west at 10. Today's high at 58. Uh, definite improvement with the sunshine compared with yesterday's rain. 36 degrees, our low temperature this morning. We do have another cold front uh, getting ready to move through here. And uh, hey, it's wintertime up in the north country, and it's going to stay up there. International Falls, 15 right now, Minneapolis at 36 degrees and a, a brief shot of cold air moving across the Ohio Valley for tonight. There's been some very gusty winds to the north of us, 50 mile per hour wind gusts up across northern Indiana through the Great Lakes states. Uh, but again, that will not be affecting us. All right, do you have travel plans for the weekend? Here we go. Starting tomorrow morning, some high cloudiness moving across the Ohio Valley. And yeah, up there, uh, the snow belt in New York could see a few snow showers, otherwise weather on the quiet side. And by afternoon, now here comes that leading edge of the much warmer air. Plenty of sunshine to the south of us and some clouds to our north. And the gusty southerly winds will start that warming trend. And a look at the highs. You see that colder air kind of shifting to the north and northeast of us for uh, tomorrow. We're going to be right on the edge of it with the 60s pushing in here and across much of West Kentucky by tomorrow afternoon. Sunday, another front up to the north of us. Plenty of sunshine here, but some increase in clouds uh, as the day goes on. We might even see a, a sprinkle or two. That would be Sunday night. Really no big deal the way it looks. All right, here's how the forecast shapes up for tonight. Partly cloudy skies. Our low temperature at 36 degrees. And for tomorrow, will be a mostly sunny day. Partly to mostly sunny with a high of 62 and even better for Sunday, 42 in the morning, a high temperature Sunday afternoon at 68. Indian summer is back and will stick around for a couple of days next week. Our super snapshot for tonight is sent in from John Faith of New Albany. We go to Egypt and a shot of the pyramids there. So there you have it. I'll tell you what, we are going to turn on the lights in the backyard here. Uh, Jackie's father's out here. Uh, Mr. Hayes, uh, can you run? You see the plug over there in the corner? If you could just oh. plug that in back in the corner there, we are going to turn our Christmas lights on. He's, he's looking for it. Uh, my, my other helpers uh, haven't made it. Okay, hang in there. We're, it's coming, it's coming, and uh, he's going to plug it in. The lights, this is part of Light Up Louisville. We do this every year. On the day after Thanksgiving, we light up the Christmas lights in the backyard, and, and uh, the plug's not working. We'll do it at the end of the show, okay? <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay. We tried. We, we, tried. we improvised. <laughs> we'll wait here. All right. All okay. right. Don't all go right. away. Thank you, John. Work <laughs> on that plug back there, all right? All right. <laughs> okay. And, of course, you can't start the holiday season without Louisville getting involved. Melanie Bullard is downtown waiting for the city to light up. Mel? Well, I tell you what, I don't know how much longer it's going to be, so you better grab the kids and get around the TV because we're about to light up Louisville. my white hat. Okay, we're going to stay with okay, Let's go back to Melanie Bullard now at Jefferson Square. Melanie? This is so exciting. The anticipation is killing me. Mayor Jerry Abramson is on the stage right now. He said 45 seconds about 30 seconds ago. So I think we're getting ready to count down and light 350,000 lights in downtown Louisville. 20 seconds away. Did you hear that? Now they're saying a minute. Now they're confusing me. Anyway, the lights are on City Hall. They're on a 35-foot Christmas tree. They're on every light pole. It's going to be gorgeous. In addition to that, we're also going to have a four-star 
searchlight up above the Christmas tree, which will form a star in the sky after everything lights up. 20. 20? 19. 19. Let's listen in. 16, 15, 14, 13. can see the sky or not to see the searchlights that are up in the air but it is just beautiful there's a hush that's fallen over the crowd a lot of people have brought flashlights with them and lights and candles and now the louisville chorus is going to sing so i'll let you listen to that and happy holidays That's pretty. So the Christmas season is officially off and running. We're going to take a very short break here. We'll be back with all the sports. Stay with us. <laughs> We're obviously not trying to scare people. We're trying to answer people's questions. Is the prediction realistic? Is the prediction ridiculous? Can we function if there is an earthquake? In the one-hour special, we should be able to answer just about any question that people have. People have the opportunity to call in and talk to the experts. And if there is concern there, maybe we can put some of that concern to rest. Join Don Schroeder on the fault line. Wednesday at 7, only on Wave 3. You have just seen light up Louisville. <laughs> Let's see if we can light up the backyard. What do you think, John? I think so. Uh, we've reset the breaker switch, Jackie, and we are ready. So let's uh, light up the backyard there, Jim. And uh, there we have it. Uh, I think we've got a couple of thousand lights out here. Our thanks to the folks at Roof Lighting and Landscape Lighting Company for making the backyard a brighter place this holiday season. Back to you all. That really yeah. is pretty. Thank Excellent. you, John. Thank you. We're going to go back downtown now to Melanie Bullard, where... Everyone is admiring the thousands of lights that were turned on just a few minutes ago. Melanie Light Up Louisville is really just the beginning down there, isn't it? Yes, it is, Don. A lot of the people will be heading now to Dickens on Main Street. And Ken Marshall gives us an idea of what they'll be seeing tonight. This afternoon, downtown Louisville streets had a traffic jam of people. It's expected 75,000 people will come to the Dickens on Main Street Festival this evening. The celebration is supposed to put Louisville in the Christmas spirit. And its organizers hope some people feel the spirit of Christmas past. You'd walk onto the street and with the noise and the musicians and the decoration, you'd look down to see if their own clothing has changed back to Victorian England. So that kind of magic feel and look. You can find what might be called bakeable architecture here. Seven County Services is displaying 23 gingerbread houses. They were baked by some of Louisville's top chefs. To raise money for children's services, they'll be auctioned off in two weeks. I'm impressed by everything. <laughs> yeah, but I'm really impressed by this, huh? There are lots of things you can eat here. In fact, food takes up most of the space. But many who came out today were here to get into the Christmas spirit. Well, it gets me out. I'm meeting people, and um, it's part of Louisville. And I'm finally getting to learn Louisville. <laughs> Dickens on Main Street keeps going until 11 o'clock this evening. On Main Street, Ken Marshall, Wave 3 News. If you come down within the next few minutes, you'll be able to catch the Dickens on Main Street parade. And then, of course, there will be music throughout the evening. And I know you don't want to see me. You want to see these lights. So, Steve, show these people what, how pretty it is out here. What, uh, what else you can do tonight when you come down to Dickens on Main Street? There are gingerbread houses, 23 artists have created and bakers have created gingerbread houses and they're at 626 main street and you can go in and vote on your favorite one and of course there will be lots of food and lots of drinks and just lots of fun and so don't expect me back at the station probably till about eight o'clock guys <laughs> don't blame you melanie <laughs> well all righty that looks just awfully very nice pretty, down there very tonight. nice down there and bob already has his christmas shopping done for the season i'm going to that? Uh, turn my car lights on and head out to the stadium How's that? You, you want to be out there to watch There's me turn my Christmas car lights on? Huh? Head out for the old football. <laughs> All righty. Well, that's our report tonight. We thank you very much for watching. Have a great weekend. NBC Nightly News is coming up next.